So, we have all heard of Big Bang Theory. Not the comedy TV show, but the actual physics theory explaining how our universe came to be into existence. And even though it says theory, probably 99% of scientists look at it as an undeniable fact and would argue with you until their last breath if you tell them that this theory cannot be true. So, they have created this James Webb telescope just so they confirm their theory. They send it into space at the cost of 10 billion dollars. But surprise, surprise, within a few weeks from its launch and after taking just a few pictures, it became very obvious that Big Bang did not and could not have happened. So we all know the century-old explanation that everything exploded into existence from a single point, no bigger than a pinhole, and that as that energy was floating in space, it started to cool down, form atoms and a group of atoms, and then over a billion of years they became stars and galaxies. So, what exactly those pictures taken by James Webb Telescope showed us, you might ask? Well, it showed that huge number of galaxies are small, smooth, and there are just way too many of them. So, what, right? We have all been told that space is vast and there are all kinds of galaxies. How is the discovery supposed to contradict the Big Bang? If we assume that the universe is expanding, then a very strange but real optical illusion has to exist. And the fact is that galaxies, or any other objects that occur naturally in space, do not continue to look smaller and smaller with increasing distance. But instead, after they pass a certain point, they should be appearing larger and larger. But in the ordinary, no expanding space, objects look smaller in proportion to their distance. And that's what those pictures are showing. Now, let's talk about smoothness. Again, according to the Big Bang Theory, as galaxies burst into existence, they were hitting and punching each other, forming bigger galaxies, then breaking, then colliding again. So the Big Bang proponents expected to see some rough edges dense in the older massive galaxies after such a massive formation stage. But practically every single disk and spiral from all of those galaxies was smooth and didn't show any signs of damage. That proves that big galaxies were always big and didn't go through any emergent processes which is impossible, according to the Big Bang Theory. It also means that optical illusion predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis does not exist. And no illusion means no expansion. Now let's talk about them being too many. According to the Big Bang Theory, as James Webb telescope looks further and further back, it should be seeing fewer and fewer galaxies. And eventually it should stop seeing any galaxies altogether as it edges to the origin of the Big Bang. But the research based on the images from the James Webb Telescope suggests that the galaxies, as massive as our home Milky Way, are very common, even a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. And how could so many large galaxies be formed in such a short time? Not many at all, to say the least. Meaning, again, there was no Big Bang. So what does it mean to common people like you and me? Absolutely nothing. I'll keep on making YouTube videos and you will keep on watching them. And leave scientists to worry about the rest. They can pull their hair out all day long as long as they like and throw away the textbooks after realization that they were wrong about this one for decades. And now it all came crashing down on them. <sighs> that must be tough.